Barbecue Live, a little cocktail time with uh, Christian here. Pretty fun. Played our little uh, playlist really kind of lightly in the background. What are you playing right now? <laughs> so, um, definitely click on the, uh, the link from our previous post. Uh, play the, you know, the Spotify playlist that we did for this week. It's definitely inspired from uh, my mother. She came up with most of these, actually, pretty much all of them. I put one special one in there uh, that I knew she would like uh, at the end there. Um, definitely kind of very chill, kind of 70s rock, a um, couple somewhat more modern things, but uh, definitely this is her her thing. Uh, the last one in there, I had to put a Tom Waits one in there because that was one of her favorite uh, people ever. I know she saw him live a bunch of times. Uh, she even moved to Key West because of him. It's a long story. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so I hope you enjoy it. Just kind of like listening in the background, pretty fun. And uh, we had to share a couple new cocktails. Hopefully some of you got some of the ingredients. If not, no big deal, you can make them later. Um, but I think we'll start with the lighter stuff uh, first. Oh yeah, and um, you can always um, sell these, yeah, which is pretty cool. So call, we can arrange for you, we can get stuff for you, we can pre-mix some stuff, um, we do cocktails to go. But the, the first one I thought would be pretty fun. It's kind of a classic thing, but it's kind of trendy again. Uh, this is just a uh, Pim Spritz. It's pretty fun. Pim's has been around absolutely forever, pre prohibition at least. I'm sure it's maybe even 1800, 1840. Yeah, it's been around a long time. Um, it's got a nice little sweet, herbaceous bitterness, uh, a lot of orange notes to it. It's really um, little citrus things. Really, really cool. A lot of cooking spices. Um, you can mix it with a lot of things. I know the classic one is just the Pim's cup, which is just, just this and ginger ale and a uh, slice of lemon. So if you want to go really simple, do that. But this is a little more fun. Um, Pim spritz, just do a couple ounces uh, of Pim's there. Oh, and make a mess. That's what we do when it's live. We make mistakes. <laughs> so a couple ounces there to start. We're really putting uh, ice on all this. So. And we're going to do uh, yeah, about two ounces of uh, lemonade, just fresh squeezed lemonade. And we're going to top it off with a um, a little bit of sparkling wine, which is going to be part of the uh, little wine pack that we have special starting uh, yesterday. So it's a six bottles of wine, I believe it's $85. Um, this is Belle Jardin. This is also going to be going in the mimosas that we just put up uh, online. So Belle Jardin is great. Before we do that, there's a couple things I want to put in here. Just uh, push some shaven uh, cucumber, which is really fun. Just really thinly sliced. Try to get all that nice aromatic flavors in there. Top it off with this delicious dry sparkling from Alsace. Right. Just to give it a little bit of a uh, effervescent feel. You don't need a ton, just enough to top it off. And I guess the resistance. It calls for mint sprig, which we have these gigantic, beautiful mint this year. This is like some Chernobyl thing that's happening. Just saw this rain. Um, but I thought I'd take it up a notch. We have some flowering mint hyssop in the garden, which is pretty fun. Just top it right in there. And you are good to go. And all you have to do is drink it. So, enjoy. There we go. And, you know, scale it up. You can make a big picture of it. All the ratios are the same. Um, really fun. Crowd pleaser, delicious, refreshing, stuff like that. But uh, maybe after the refreshing portion of things, we could do something a little heavier. <laughs> so this one calls for uh, bourbon, a uh, rich Amaro, as well as a Pedro Jimenez Sherry, or PX Sherry, uh, as it's very commonly referred to. It's a very rich, um, sweet, dark Sherry. And this one is called the Prospector Number no. 2. So uh, we're starting off with the, uh, the bourbon here. Two ounces of bourbon. I would definitely recommend something with a, a pretty high proof. This is Baker's, it's 107 proof. Uh, it's got a nice rich dark color and kind of profile. I wouldn't do anything too light. You don't want to use anything too sweet either. Don't use Jack Daniels. I love Jack Daniels, but it's not for this cocktail. Uh, now this, you don't need a whole lot of this. So about three quarter ounces of Averna. And then 
this is the last part is just to kind of round it off. This is the, the PX Sherry. You only need about a third of an ounce. So, and that's just, it's very sweet, so you just need a little bit to, uh, it just kind of fattens up all the corners. It's really, really fun. Uh, we don't need to actually shake her. That's we are going to starting it. Because remember, uh, you know, shaking cocktails are for things like egg whites and citrus and all those things. Um, you know, Manhattan's, uh, you know, really anything in that category really should be stirred. You don't need to um, shake it. If you shake it, you dilute it about 150% faster than stirring it. All you really want to do is cool it down. You don't want to dilute it too much. It kind of thins it out too much. And we're going to be serving this in a little coupe glass. And that's just about nice and cold. There we go. And topping it with a little lemon twist. Got that there. Ah, oh my gosh. This is what happens when you do things live. You get really uh, nervous. Two dashes of bitters, Angostura bitters. Nothing. Uh, Nothing crazy, just get your regular Angostura bitters, you can get these anywhere. So let me just give it a really quick stir in there. Any rate that. Oops. That's what happens, right? So think of this, it's almost like a black Manhattan, because you do have the Averna, but you're kind of richening it up like even that much more with the PX Sherry. And we're just gonna top it with a little lemon twist, and you are all set. And it's for me. <laughs> and that's really it. You're good to go. So that's the prospector number two. Like I said, just four ingredients, a little bit of ice, lemon, you are good to go. And back to, I hope you enjoy them. And also again, let us know what you think about the playlist. I'm really curious about it. Um, we're gonna, you know, thank you for everybody who also gave some comments for the previous cocktail time and stuff like that. Um, heard a lot of things about uh, herbaceous cocktails, so we have come in one uh, one coming up next week, uh, so that, that should be fun. We do appreciate the, uh, uh, you know, the feedback on that. Oh. But as a little reminder, um, just of our nice little wine pack that we have going on. I just used it for the cocktail. We had that Belgian and sparkling wine. Uh, this is the uh, a delicious Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley, right across the way from Sancerre. It's very similar in every way. It's about half the price. It is a big overachiever. Uh, and so it is absolutely delicious. Um, we have a couple from And Andaluna. One is a uh, Chardonnay called the, the, from the 1300 series, uh, named after the 1300 meters that the vineyard's at. So pretty high elevation. Um, it's a really sophisticated, nice mixture between the old and new world style. Not a big butter oak bomb, um, you know, really good acid still. Uh, you know, nice rich brown texture, but not not your rum bar. You know, not <laughs> not your big buttered toast thing. It's really good with food. Um, it's a really nice wine, and a deliciously refreshing uh, vino verde from uh, Portugal, from Tiro Nice fresh 2018, and um, I would say the one of the best valued cabs I've ever had in my life is this uh, Four Sisters. Um, it is just amazing. I don't know, it, it over delivers every single time over. And uh, also from Land and uh, and the Luna is a really nice smell bag. Uh, nice and fresh. It's a limited edition one. Um, really great varietal correct. Um, rich but not overbearing. Very, very smooth texture. Really, really fun. And um, ah, <laughs> and we're doing a little bit of a, we only have a few bottles of this left, but we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, special for the high-end wine lovers. Just give us a call. Um, we'll get it online here uh, later today, but in the meantime, just give us a call. It is a wonderful premier crew to show Monoche. This producer is the only one who's allowed to use this wine from this actual premier crew vineyard. Um, she doesn't still own it, but she's the only one that uses it. Um, it's a 2013, it is absolutely singing. It is nutty, rich. Um, Know, that nice little like lemon curd it is that's an amazing wine um, you know for those familiar with premier crew burgundies uh, you know especially ones with anything with the word Montroche in it <laughs> Montroche um, you know they they're not cheap but actually it's a pretty good value for one of this um, so we're gonna be selling that I think at um, I think 89 yes 89 for that so um, it's a 
really great wine. We have a few bottles left. Just it was something that just came came across us, and we're really excited about it. We just got to try it. That's why it's open. <laughs> so I hope uh, everybody enjoyed that. Uh, definitely, you know, let us know what you think about the tunes. Listen to here. And uh, hopefully we'll see everybody soon. Um, like I said, we're doing uh, carry on takeout until eight o'clock uh, tonight through the rest of the week through Sunday. So don't hesitate to give us a call. Let us know what you like, and we hope to see everybody soon. Thanks so much.